right, here goes nothing. What's good, everyone? It's Blue Balls. So, um, for this video, we got something really cool. I got a surprise clutch. Not really a surprise. I was definitely breeding, but um, surprise meaning I don't know what the heck is coming out of these eggs. Um, I mean, I know what they're what, what they are. I can see what they are. But according to the parents, that's not what they're supposed to be. So it's kind of a surprise because uh, she proved out something I didn't know she had, and I'm pretty sure um, she saved me a lot of time um, with this project. So that's really cool. Really, uh, really uh, excited. So um, the pairing was a leopard exanthe. Shout out to Eva. I got this girl as an exanthic from her. She had bought out a clutch, um, or she bought out a collection, or at least the rest of the collection, and she kept what she wanted and asked me if I wanted the, uh, any of the rest. And, um, and yeah, I, I picked up a couple animals from her, this being one of them. And so um, when I went to go pick her up, I looked at her and I was like, this is definitely leopard. I can see the exanthic because the color stripped out. Um, and I have another leopard. And she looks nothing like that. She looks way washed out. Um, so I was hoping that'd be really cool. Um, leopard exanthic. I can do some things with it. I just didn't know what. So I was like, I'm not going to pass up. I got exanthic in my collection now, and I wanted to work with it. Um, so this year I'm breeding. Uh, this year, last year I bred her, and I got uh, an orange dream pie. This guy right here. Corey, shout out to Corey. Um, uh, he had bred from a couple of animals he got from me um, when I when I missed, and so he uh, had offered me our dream pie mail, and so I got a chance to use it. So I used him twice this year. Um, so it's not cheating. It's just I really needed this clutch. So I figured um, I'm not doing big things here. So I'm doing uh, maybe one or two clutches. So I'm thinking one visual clutch, one head clutch. And then if I got space or time and I moved enough animals, maybe I can do a side project. Um, so I really have to focus our projects on running on limited time, not so much space, just limited time. Um, but we're, we're in here. Uh, I had to carve out some time to even do this. So I'm kind of knocking a whole bunch out of the same. So either way, um, let's go ahead and check out this clutch right here. And uh, I'll set up the camera and we'll set, we'll, 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 I'll show you what we got. So, this is the clutch information. There were seven eggs. One of them went bad. <laughs> like a week or two in, and I separated it. Um, I'll probably do a video on that later, but um, that, one, that, that one's in a separate tub. Uh, I wanted to make sure I saved the rest of them um, because this was supposed to be a leopard exanthic to an orange dream pied um, and I think I threw in a pied male that I have that I produced a couple years ago um, just as a backup to make sure but um, he didn't lock I took him out the next day and they were just balled up in these separate corners so I didn't see a lock and that was literally just to get her going just to get her uh, slamming food so um, this was meant to have 100% double head, um, leopards, uh, orange dreams, and leopard OD, hopefully, um, and then save something for the future. So this wasn't supposed to be a real exciting clutch, um, but found something really weird. And so I know you can see what I see. Um, these are pies. That one has a really, really uh, strong head stamp. I believe that may have leopard, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on. She, this is a first time breeder. So um, yeah, that's cool. Look at that. So this is a hell of a surprise clutch. Um, 
another out of six eggs that were left it's another pied the head stamp on this one is completely different from this so i believe this one has leopard and this one doesn't can't tell yet if it has any orange dream because they're all pretty bright another another pie another pie this one has the, the melting at the bottom like orange dreams have but uh, I'm not sure I really got to take a look at this clutch after they shed out under some good lighting Look at that thing, man. And then, just for kicks, another hide. I thought I mixed this clutch up because I have another orange dream pie clutch that I was excited for as well. And this one just happened to prove pied as well. Super dope. Super dope. So let's get to these. Now this looks like a normal man. A normal. Really good looking normal. But it's a normal double head, exanthic, and pied. So this will definitely be available. Male or female, doesn't matter. But uh I'll check them after they all get out. That's a really good looking pattern, I can see it. And then high tracks obvious, but the Xanthic you can definitely see the head stamp is flushed. It's cool. Keep going. Nice little normal. And this guy right here looks like a leopard. Just a straight leopard. I don't see Orange Dream even though orange dream may be um, what's bringing out that ringer as well as obvious the, the, the het pied but also het for example it's a real cool pattern man I don't think it has orange dream I don't think it has enough it's got a nice dark rich color like a leopard that's a good double head right there. It's a real good looking animal. Look at that ringer. Awesome. Where are you going? So, that's a really crazy clutch because that's one, two, three, four pies out of a clutch that was not supposed to get any pies whatsoever. Gonna put that to the side. Let's set these guys up in a tub to shed. Look at these things, man. Super cool. I can't believe it. What a freaking surprise. And I came home and I saw this popping out. I was like, hold up, man. I must have mixed up what I put in there. That's beautiful. You got orange duck billing here, like the orange, not duck billing, that's a good looking animal. I mean, it's got orange on the nose, like it, like it, ble like it bleached out the color. This one might be orange dream. This has a lot more color. This one might be orange dream too. Look at that orange bleeding out. Man, this is so weird, so weird. Shout out to Eva. Um, this is where I got the original female from. And uh, I got her as an Xanthic. And then when I went to go pick her up and I looked at her up close, I realized that she was a leopard. Or she looked as like a leopard. Um, and she, she thought the same thing, so it kind of confirmed it. But um, yeah, that's all the information I had. Now I can, I mean, she, she, had, she wasn't even old enough to breed. She wasn't uh, sized to breed. So I don't think they put anything with her. And the only thing I put with her was another pie. That is crazy. This one definitely has orange dream. You can see the difference clearly. That's 
That's so wild. That is so wild. That crazy headstand. Like the side of the face. It's awesome. And the pattern on this thing. A leopard is crazy. That's a good line of leopard. I have another leopard that doesn't throw out good leopard babies. And if he does, he just has bad odds. But that's a good looking leopard right there. So yeah, I'm gonna set these guys up. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. How freaking awesome was that? Um, super excited for that clutch. I, I, it freaked me out. I, I came in here to check on him and he popped up and I saw a pie sticking out. I'm like, what the freak is going on? always get any surprise uh, good surprises sometimes uh, bad surprises maybe um, uh, I do have one of the eggs that um, went bad early in the clutch and so uh, I, I separated it and I'll do another video for that but um, yeah that clutch was freaking awesome out of, out, of, out, of, out of six eggs that were viable four of them visual for something I didn't even know was in there that's freaking awesome I couldn't have asked for better odds this year. I know I'm, I'm tightening up and doing a smaller uh, breeding operation, but it's definitely paying off in a, in a different way. And I'm really happy, really surprised. Um, I'm really excited. It's really getting my blood flowing. I just got to find a way to uh, carve out some time to, to do more of this stuff. So I do have at least two or three more videos already in the pipe. So um, I'll figure out what to do next after that. If not, then nothing's happening. It's okay out my Instagram and, and see the pictures and stuff that I've posted throughout, throughout the season. I'm not really sure I have too much time to do more YouTube, but I'm really, really trying. It's a good weekend to do it because I got, I got extra time. So, um, shout out to my job for giving us a four day weekend. Um, I got a lot to, I got a lot of work to do. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Smile big and hustle hard.